Welcome back to the road. Today we are making a stop in Meridian, Mississippi. Mississippi brings to mind poverty. It's true there's a lot of poverty, and this place isn't a bustling metropolis. But it's more than a collection of burned out buildings with trees growing out the top. Meridian's history is tied to the rise and fall of the railroads. It was founded where two railroads came together back in the 1860s. The name itself was chosen because the city elders believed it was synonymous with junction. It is a junction of thoughts. Where creativity and a desire to escape poverty have come together to produce some real gems over the years. Some of them are borrowed from other parts of the state, but they have separated their heroes with a work of fame. I feel like I'm taking a stroll through nostalgia in this place. There are mirrors everywhere, honoring stars from the city's past. The nostalgia carries over into the architecture. Walking those streets almost feels like going back in time, if not for the modern cars driving by. One building in particular stands out for its Art Deco design. The three-foot building. I'm sure that name is confusing. It actually refers to the three-foot family who had a business here back in the 19th century. I really wanted to get a look inside the place, so I made a break for some coffee. Not bad for the inside of a Starbucks. The plazas and squares are a reminder that this place used to be something. The monuments to World War I heroes gave it arms a European feel. The civil rights movement also runs through the blood of this town. For the first time ever, an all-white jury convicted a civil rights offender right here in the federal courthouse. This is also a city of larger-than-life characters. I happened upon the world-famous monument and was showing around Sam's fashion store. Hello, East Mississippi and West Alabama and all the peoples in America. I am the world-famous money man representing Sam's fashion where we have the top line of clothes. Being suits, shirts, and rayon sets are all on sale right now at your shopping convenience. But one thing I want you to know out there, nobody be Sam Prices, and I mean nobody. Most of the time, I'm 
supposed to have a Rion test. You know, we start out without Rion test. And the guy going on a while, a lot of suits would be cool. Oh, you got suit coat here. You never cut suit. Uh, most of these some cuts. You know, a lot of guys like them stem cuts. You know. Sam Fashion got them, along with the three pieces. Hey, wow, man. I don't wear suits, but it does seem like a great place if you want to look sharp. The father of country music, Jimmy Rogers, once lived in town. This is the famous museum. He had the tuberculosis, and even though he knew he was dying, he kept recording music until the day he died. He wanted to make sure his family was taken care of after he died. His work has inspired a lot of big names in the music industry, like Elvis. He's in the jailhouse now. He's in the jailhouse now. Being a railroad town, it wouldn't be a complete visit without going to the old depot. disconnected small towns have become over the years. Meridian's antebellum past was burned to the ground by General Sherman, but the Mary Hope Mansion and six others survived the fires. It's hard to believe people could live in such splendor supported by the label of human poverty. Home is beautiful, but it also reminds us of the cruelty people can have toward each other.
The next stop is what I consider to be the must see attraction, the Mississippi Arts and Entertainment Experience. They spent around $50 million to build this place and it shows the exhibits are top notch. You will be amazed by how many famous entertainers, writers, and artists came from this state. enjoyed the visit to Meridian Mississippi as much as I did. Let me know what you think by leaving your comments down below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.